I'm in Dubrovnik. I've wanted to go to Dubrovnik for years. Uh, it looks a stunning place. I've not really spent much time in Croatia at all. I've done like a day in Zagreb for a work thing. So I'm very excited to be here. This is essentially flights we had for skiing last year that kept getting cancelled and cancelled and then we eventually just changed destination. And here we are, home of Game of Thrones. That's what everyone knows, isn't it, from the filming. Uh, it's a bit of a sore topic in our house, Game of Thrones. When it first came out, I remember going to watch the first episode and my wife started moaning at me. She's like, what's this? Why are you watching some Dungeons and Dragons nonsense? And it got so annoying that eventually I turned it off after 20 minutes. And then somewhere along the line, it's been in Vogue or some magazine or something, and she started watching it on the sly. So me, who wanted to watch Game of Thrones, has only ever seen 20 minutes of it, and she's seen all of it. So it's going to be a tense, be a tense atmosphere here today. Dubrovnik is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's amazing how there aren't any buildings that are incongruous in the old town. It's all really well preserved. There are 42,000 people living in Dubrovnik but it welcomes over a million tourists every year to the old town. As well as Game of Thrones, you might recognise it as the casino city of Canto Bight in Star Wars The Last Jedi. We didn't stay in the old town itself and chose instead to hire a villa in the hills with our friends Mark and Nicola and their kids close to the nearby town of Srebreno. You can get around fairly easily by taxi or, if you want a bit more excitement, can easily travel by boat to the old town from a number of harbours up the coast. There's not really a need to hire a car unless you're planning on travelling miles. If you do hire one, I'd avoid XL Rent-A-Car of Dubrovnik Airport because they still owe me over a thousand pounds two weeks later and are a bunch of little weasels. We found a little Salvador Dali museum here with a lot of his paintings and drawings and lithographs, is that a word? I think that's what they are. It's nice. It's not the weird surrealist sculptures that you get at the Museum of Figueras if you've been there. It's quite pleasant. Our first museum of the day. Probably our only museum of the day. Are you still have my sunglasses? Yes. They're mine now. What did you think of the Dali Museum? Good. You like your art, don't you? Yes. There's a lot of beautiful and high quality shops here in Dubrovnik. My kids just found a lovely uh, candy shop or sweet shop, as I say, because I'm not American. Um, but there's lots of nice jewellers, lots of lovely food places. I'm really looking forward to having lunch in a minute. Stunning. I like doing more travelling in this sort of area. Somewhere really, oh, where else? Somewhere really interested in because it's an area that. I remember from history in my lifetime and the breakup of the former Yugoslavia and war and stuff like that. I just find it a really fascinating place. In 1991, in the Croatian War of Independence, the project was besieged for seven months and bombarded and stuff like that. So, done a good job in doing it up. And apart from signs telling you what's going on, you don't really, you don't really notice. So where do you get the pomegranate? At the market. Nice? Yeah. Do a taste test for me. How was it? What would you give it out of ten? One and a zero and a one and a zero. We spent a good few hours walking around Dubrovnik, wandering in and out of shops, before having a nice leisurely lunch in a square. Then we jumped in an Uber and returned to our villa to drink wine by the pool. It was incredibly relaxing, but do you know what's equally relaxing? An Emma Sleep mattress! Regular readers will know that I've been using Emma mattresses for years now, and recently I got an Emma divan bed and mattress for my son Otto's new room. Look, we've got carpet now. The house renovation is going strong. What do you like about your new bed, Otto? It's soft, it's warm, it's massive. 
Cheers, Otto. Now, I love Emma mattresses, not just because they're super comfy, but also because you get a 200-day trial with them. So you can try it out in the comfort of your own home, see if you like it, and if you don't, just ring them up. They'll take it back, give you money back. No questions asked. In fact, that was the reason why I first got an Emma mattress, was that promise. And I kept it because I was sleeping better. Hey, come closer. Me and Squishmallow have got something to tell you. Emma, I've got Black Friday sale on, but not just any sale. It's their biggest ever sale! Plus, I can make the sale even bigger because if you click the link in the description and use my code, not only are you going to get the 60% off, you get a little bonus saving on top of that as a reward for being a loyal servant to this channel. So thanks for watching this. Click down the link in the description, get yourself an absolute bargain and a great night's sleep. We'd spent the first few days of our holiday just relaxing in our local area, either our villa or down in Sobreno. But after our visit to Dubrovnik, we decided we wanted more action, so we booked up a trip around three islands just off the coast. The price of the ticket included lunch and unlimited drinks. That was pretty reasonable, in my opinion. Our first stop was an island called Kolosep. Kolosep? Kolosep? I have no idea how you pronounce it. So our first island is absolutely beautiful. It's like a lovely little bay and the architecture's lovely. And it doesn't look like anywhere I've been before. Like it looks a little bit like a Greek island, but with different architecture. It's got a little bit of a sort of, I guess, French colonial vibe as well. Really relaxing and a nice little beach that the kids can go and swim in. Happy days, show we've only got 45 minutes here. Onto the next island. Back on the boat and it was lunchtime. I had some lovely fresh fish, but you also had the choice of chicken or some kind of vegetarian option. Once we'd wolfed all that down and drunk some ropey wine out of a plastic cup, we were ready for our second island, Sipan. Sipan had a pretty little harbour and a few shops, but the kids were most excited by a very soft cat. This is the softest thing I've ever touched, and I'm not joking when I say that. It's probably got fleas. So... What did you say? <laughs> it's probably got fleas, I reckon. Have you been sick yet on the boat? <laughs> Not yet, but it's going to happen, isn't it? Feels a bit Cuban, this island. I've never been to Cuba, I imagine. It's what it's like, but these little bays and boats and bars and pubs and things like that. I imagine, you know the game Tropico? Feels like we're playing Tropico. It's definitely the best thing we've done on this trip so far, this boat adventure, I think. You don't get that long at each place, but it's nice just cruising around. The food was was good and we love the last place the beach I think we're getting longer at the third island so we'll see what that's like but this is lovely too they're all lovely islands are generally lovely I'm from an island it's not that lovely the boat wine was flowing as we moved towards our final island the beautiful Lopud which may be pronounced completely differently we had short stops at our previous islands, about half an hour each, but we got two hours at our final destination. So I hired some sun loungers, bought some beers, and played in the sea at the lovely sandy beach. It's one of the nicest afternoons I've had in years. What a place. This is absolutely magnificent. There's more to do than the other islands. They've given us a couple, couple of hours here as opposed to uh, half an hour, 20 minutes the other places, but it's just, Beautiful. Again, it's got that sort of colonial vibe, palm trees. Bev and Kitty went up to check out a monastery. I just played in the sea with the kids and relaxed in a sun lounger. If you're, if you're coming to Dubrovnik, you've got to do this. I could definitely spend a few days on this island. It'd be a lovely place to be. Big fan of it. Big fan. Do this. I'll put the details down below. Details. So really cool then. We used a company called Vivado for our island adventure, but there are loads of companies that seem to offer similar trips. It was definitely the best thing we did in Croatia, so I would 100% recommend it if you're in the area.
This is our last full day here in Croatia. We go tomorrow evening and decided to come a bit down the coast to Kavtat. Quite a sizeable town with some nice hotels, lots of nice looking restaurants, uh, lovely little walkway, lots of greenery, lots of sea, harbour and hopefully we're going to find a beach in a minute. I don't think you need to stay in Dubrovnik if you come here in the old town. You can if you want to but I think you can get boats that will take you from Kavtat or from where we are all the way round. So tell me what you think of the holiday Arlo, what's been the best bit? Um, going on the plane. Going on the plane? Yes. What, to get here? Yeah. Okay, that could have been any holiday I guess though. Have you enjoyed swimming? Um, yeah. Have you enjoyed the food? Yeah. Do you like the Croatian people? Yeah. Is there anything you don't like? No. Okay, good. Kavtat doesn't have the beaches that we were spoilt with yesterday. This beach is alright once you get out into it, but it's stony on the way in. You're right. Pine cone, pine cone. Um, so not the ideal place for that, but it's a beautiful town. I think we're going to go and try and get a little bit of food in the centre in a minute. We did our boat trip yesterday and we've, we've popped down to restaurants and stuff like that occasionally and spent a little time in Dubrovnik. We've not done loads this trip because a lot of it has just been relaxing. I normally get quite bored on a beach holiday but I'm not at all here. I think we just really needed a break which is entirely possible. But also I think being with friends that you get on with really well and who are nice and share the same interests is great and I think also we've there have been some things to do, it's not just sat by the pool constantly, but even those days have been pretty good. I think it's, we've had a lot of booze, a lot of booze. Kavtat is a lovely town and there are plenty of lovely bars and restaurants to sit out in and enjoy the last evenings of warmth. Fabulous. there we go that's the end of our trip to Croatia I had a brilliant time the first time I've properly been in this country but absolutely adored it love the Croatian people eating some great food had some nice beer and relaxed by the pool would definitely recommend the boat trip out of all the things we've done I think that's that's probably my favorite um, but yeah cheers for watching it'll be another video very soon thanks to Emma sleep click on the link down there in the description get yourself a good deal on a mattress and yeah happy days I'm off to enjoy the last three hours of the holiday before I have to go back to Britain. Hi! Hello. Hi.